What's going on guys, Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA. For this show, I got to speak with Chandra Cisneros, who's an amateur fighter out of Utah. We got to catch up on her last fights and a couple cancellations that had happened, the weird occurrence around there. Plus, this was an awesome show, despite the technical difficulties on my end. Thank you so much for checking out the show. Thank you again for jumping on the call with me. I appreciate it. How did you get hooked up with Roberto over there at Fightbook MMA? I, I don't know if you had him here. I had him on Facebook, and I sent him a thing that said thanks for the ad. Well, that's not what was said, so okay. we just kind of have an inside joke about it. But ever since then, they've been awesome sponsor. Have, when I first took my first fight, he's like, hey, you're fighting? And I said, yeah. He's like, let me sponsor you. It's really cool, really awesome. They're great, great sponsors. Very cool. And it looks like you had four fights scheduled, but two of them canceled this year. What happened with the, the cancellation there? So the first one was a Wyoming cancellation. I don't think she could have made it that fight with Cheryl Salazar. Okay. And then the second one, the girl walked out on her walkout song. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever find out what happened with that or ever hear from her again? You know, no, I actually never heard. I, I hear she's running her mouth on Facebook and social media, but never heard anything more. My understanding was that she had some sort of cancer and she had done chemo, 12 something rounds of chemo before, during her fight camp. And I guess that night she just didn't want to fight. Interesting. When can us fans expect to see you back in the cage? So as of right now, um, I had a few offers for November and December. I did take a break. We are going on vacation at the end of this month gotcha. uh, for my birthday. My Actually, my and my boyfriend's birthday. But we're going out of town. We're going to do something fun. And then I'm going to get back in the gym. I'm actually kind of in the gym now, just here and there. But it looks like November, December. Ever since then, it's kind of how it's been. That's awesome. Well, do you care if we do some rapid fire questions real quick? No, go ahead. Awesome. What type of music do you listen to or what's your favorite band? I listen to everything. So I am a bartender. Okay. And the jukebox plays just about anything. So you, my iTunes playlist goes from country music to sappy music to hard rock to gangster. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have Nunez or Cyborg win and when they fight? Oh, Nunez. Nunes, very nice. I see you've done some fishing. What's the biggest fish you've caught? I don't measure them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we love to fish, but in that picture you're talking about with the Gren style, definitely yeah. probably my biggest fish I caught this year. <laughs> okay, very cool. It was a good sized fish, so I had to ask there. And it looked like on Instagram, do you guys own a goat? I have three. Three and goats? I two more, yes. Oh, that's awesome. What are, what are their names? Yes. Okay. And the two one, we for sure. The new one is for sure going to be named Oreo, and we're up in the air on the other goat. I say taco, but he's not going for it. So. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he will let me name our goat Taco. Okay. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, I also want to give you an opportunity to give a shout out to sponsors, coaches, teammates, anything like that as well. Absolutely. So my sponsors right now are Tim Adams down at Next Level Canine Institute. He trains our German Shepherd. At Actually, oh, cool. um, he is, if you, he's basically the world's greatest dog trainer ever, I think, but he's one of them. Um, my girl down at Cuckoo Leather, she's in Grand Junction, Colorado, look her up on Facebook, she does some amazing leather work, and then you have Chad over at Star Meters Pets, he makes vinyl shirts, t-shirts, and then also Blackout Clothing, Blackout can... Clothing, and uh, they, he did my shirts for this last fight, if you check out that picture, oh my god, they turned out so amazing, cool. and then Chad... Chad did my uh, banner. They, man, I I have some of the greatest sponsors. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty amazing. That's awesome. And then um, my coach Daniel, we added Blake Sprouse as well to my training. He's been amazing. And then uh, Mackenzie Cochran joined our team, and she's uh, 17, looking to get into it. She's she's freaking amazing when it comes to getting in the gym. She'll try anything and everything, so she's awesome too. Sweet. Well. So that's that's our little crew we have going on. <laughs> That's awesome. Chandra, thank you so much for, for jumping on my show today. I appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you back in the cage in November, December, and uh, seeing that hand raised. Absolutely, yes. We're bringing home that win. It's coming. It, Absolutely. It should have been this last fight, but uh, I kind of I feel like I got a little gypped out of that one. That's why I never let it go to the judges, though, right? Yep, absolutely. Uh, well, Chandra, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day. 
Thank you so much for watching the show today. I really appreciate it. It would be awesome if you could subscribe to our channel and share this video, please. We take 25% of the profits that we earn through TopRateMMA.com and we give that back to Hire Heroes USA, which is an organization that helps veterans with free job placement and training after they're out of the service and for their families. We also take 5% of all the profits made through TopRatedMMA.com and we give that to the Fighter Sponsorship Program through Fightbook MMA. It's a great, great organization. Both of them are. Again, thank you for watching the video. Have an awesome day.